Hi guys, Nate Dodder here. Welcome to a little uh, short sort of uh, demo play, if you like, of a, of a game that came out uh, at last year. I saw it at Eurogamer um, last year, a game called Lumino City, as you can see on the screen. Um, the guys at State of Play who made the game, very uh, kind enough to uh, recently give me a, a copy of the game. Um, and uh, yeah, I just thought I'd give it a, a little playthrough of the first few levels, see if you guys like it. If you do enjoy it, maybe we'll do a complete a complete playthrough of it. If you if you do enjoy, so just let me know in the comments if you want you want to see more. Depending on how the views go, I may well I may well do some more. I've had a little play of the first few levels just to see how it works. Um, it's a really really clever game. Um, before I click enter on the screen there, um, the the models for the game, the puzzles themselves, were all made in the actual 3D. They're actually made in real life, so they're made out of paper and different materials. Um, and then they've been filmed using real life cameras and then imported into the game. It is very clever. I'll explain that more when you see the models. Um, suffice to say, Dr. Creep and I saw this at Eurogamer last September. Um, and the models were really cool. They were lights on and everything. And he ran up to one and went to grab it. And the uh, the guy at uh, at, uh, at uh, State of Play, I think his name was Luke, um, he had almost a heart attack when he saw uh, Jamie go to grab the model. Because obviously they put hours and hours of work into these models. But this is the all little taster level. Level 1, Grandad's house. Let's click, click enter and see what happens. Here's Grandad, and this is Lumi, and this is who we play. So, Grandad, now, as I was saying, there's been some terrible trouble at the city. I think I'm going to eat a cup of tea before I tell you, and I want to show you something. Give me a moment to look in my bookshelf. Would you be kind enough to go make me the tea? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna click. We're gonna go downstairs. So it's little, it's kind of little uh, Luke Whitaker. Witt that's the guy at the top there who made the game. I don't know if you just, just saw his name. Um, programming design by Dan Fountain. So these are all like, almost like the credits of the game, which is a very clever way of doing it. All right, puzzle one: tea kettle, two mugs. Let's click. So we have we have to make tea. So one, we have to drag the tea bag in. Plop. Oh, crash. Was that someone breaking in upstairs? What are you doing here? No, you can't. No. Wham! Get your hands off me! Ow, ow, ow! To the city, Lumi. Oh no. So, Grandad's been... Grandad's been taken. Grandad's gone. Let's go back upstairs. Forget the tea. Let's, uh... Oh, there's a book. There's a book on the floor. What's this? See, there's more credits, music and sound. This is the handy manual. So let's pick this up. This does come in very useful later on. There's some helpful hints in this book. So we click on the bag to look inside. And it's, you can see that we've got the, uh... The manual inside. So here's our handy manual. This looks like it could be useful. Say we. I'll look at it later. Okay, so we're now going to click on the back button as it tells us. Here's the door. Click on the arrow. Out we go. So it's a very, very clever kind of art style in this. This this isn't really what the main game's like, but this, this sort of intro level is very, very clever. So here we go. We're running off to the city, to Lumino City. Here we are. So this is the city. It looks like it was once very grand. I just need to find a way up. Okay, so this is the first puzzle, first proper puzzle, I guess. Um, and as you can see, this was this this is a real life model. All these shadows are real cast shadows in the world. There was some like the but the all the little uh, little hills in the background. They're all part of the same model. So it was very very well made, very clever. And let's do this one. So we've got to get up. We've got to find a way up on this. So if, if we jump up on here, we jump up, but there's no way of getting up. But there's a stick here. So we're going to click on the stick, and we're going to go and get the stick. And Lumi's going to put it in her bag. There we go. And then we're going to jump back up over here. Click on bag to look inside. Yeah, we know, we know we've got to do that. That's fine. Are we going to drag? It's going to tell us how to do it. So there we go. So we click the stick on this little thing. Jump up there. Click that. It's a bit of bell. Ding ding! And that's going to give the person at the top the information to wee whiz us up the top. So as you can see, look, yeah. So they've basically made this whole model, 3D model with lights and everything. And literally, as you move around, it, it the camera pans with you. So he just asked, "Who am I?" And I've said, "I'm Lumi, and I'm trying to find my granddad. Have you seen him? Your granddad? I don't know. What does he look like? Um, old, big moustache." You mean the handyman? Nope, haven't seen him in ages. Is that all you got me out of my seat for? Don't know why I bother. Well, that's charming, isn't it? So he's gone back to watch his telly. We're going to drop down. Oh no, oh, his telly's gone out. 
and so's the power. My TV, not another power cut, ridiculous. So he's gonna start banging his telly and it is our job now to, uh, to firstly, to fix the, pa the power. That's the first thing we need to do. So let's, uh, let's, click, let's get in this building, let's see if we can get through the gate. So the gate's locked. So there's like a very weird diagram here. Again, this was all a model. Very, very well done. All photographed very well. Um, so let's click on buttons. And as you said, you click on them. You click on that one, and then because that one hits that one, which then hits that one, it unlocks that one. So you've got to try and work out a, a pattern where nothing gets um, none of the others open the other, these other ones. So I'm doing that. I can't remember quite what I did. See, I've hit that one, sent that one down to that one. So that nothing else powers that one. That one powers that one. So we could. Oh, that one powers that one, which. Oh dear, right, okay, I did do this and it was very trial and error. So I'm just gonna randomly click until I get it right. That one, then that, no. That one, then that one, no. That one, then that one, no. That one, not that one, obviously. That one, then that one. Then that one, no. That one, then that one. Then that one, no, obviously not that one, that was silly. Then. That one, then that one, then that one. There you go. Cool. So the padlock comes off the door, the door swings open, and in goes Lumi into Lumino City. I wonder if the town was the city was named after her. Um, okay, so there's no power, there's a fuse board there. Let's have a look at the fuse box. Very, very confusing. Can't do anything with this at all, as I found after a few minutes of searching earlier. But let's go inside this building. There's a tree full of full of lovely lemons, look. A tree full of lemons. I remember Grandad saying you could never have too many lemons, I wonder why. So off she goes, she grabs all the lemons off the tree. We'll have those, you look at those and go, what on earth is that for? Let's go into this book up here, let's just have a look up here. Lemon recipes it says. And inside it is, rather handily, a little electrical plan. So we'll put the book back, we don't need anything else in here. We're going to jump back through the doorway and we're going to click back on this puzzle, back on this electrical circuit. Now if we in our book, in our bag, we get out the, uh, oops, there we go, look, and that overlays the, uh, the, the diagram over the real circuit. Now, again, a little bit of trial and error for me earlier, but if we go into our bag, I know that lemons carry uh, electrical, electrical, electrical current. And what we need to do, if you can see here, there's crosses on three of these are all electrical things, which means that we don't need to put current through those. If I plonk a lemon on there and rotate, I'm not sure you should do this at home, kids, but that will give you, that will transfer current through, amazingly, to, uh, yeah, to another, <laughs> to the next next lemon. So I'm just going to rotate that one round three times and plonk it over that one. That one can go there, that one can go there, that one could go there and rotate round, there we go, and that one can go there and rotate round. And boom, on comes the power. Look at that, so clever. His telly's come back on, he's happy. See, he thinks it's him that fixed it. We'll let him think that, that's fine. He's gonna watch his telly. So, Lumino, let's get out of here. So that's restored the power. Ah, and there's one left. She's gonna take that last lemon. And I now know that we need to get over this. Actually, before I do that, let me show you something. This is how I knew this. Uh, step back down again, please. We're gonna go to this gate. Obviously, to get, to get into this building, you go through the gate, wouldn't you? But um, as you can see, this rusted shut hasn't been used for years, so I know that by going up this ladder, she's going to find another way in. She said. So we're going to go up this ladder, and we are going to we're going to jump through through this bit here, out the other side. Look at the 3D. The way the 3D model's been. See, they filmed that from two angles, and then they've used some kind of wizardry to make the camera pan round. I guess kind of like they do on the Matrix, where they have multiple cameras, and they just they just take a camera from each you know slightly different angle and it makes a cool moving moving image right now I know that this thing here could be a good catapult because if I click on it look she's trying to pull it she's not strong enough I'm not strong enough to bend it back myself but it would fling back with some force if I could so that's what I did earlier I found that out I thought oh okay now the power's back on we can um we could take the winch that we were pulled up with earlier and we can go and attach it to the uh to the aerial. P 
walking and now I know that there is the button for the winch because that's the what the man used to get us up when we when we done ding dinged our, our bell at the bottom so I'm gonna press the button and there goes the winch pulling it right back and we're gonna jump on and we're gonna go for a ride a ride into Lumino City okay here I go this is almost definitely a good idea wait no it's a very bad idea let me off crash Luckily, we landed on top of that bandstand. Oh, here comes a little pussycat. Meow. Oh, ow. Um, no, no, ow, she said, not meow. What's all this? Oh, hello. There's a couple of nosy neighbours. What's all this commotion? Oh, there's a girl up on the bandstand, as if that's quite normal. There is Esme, there is. And look, the mayor's lost cat. Ah, so they're asking us if we can reach that cat. I'm sure I can. Um... There we go, let's, let's grab the cat. Nope. Oh, the cat's going. Come on, Lumi, after the cat. Quick, after the cat. Quick, Lumi, get the cat. Apparently this cat lives with the old mare. Oh, there we go. Well, I think we've we've done our job. It's got the... Uh... Good, well, the, it's gone back in with the mare. So let's go in and, let's go and talk to the mare. You found my little darling, thank you. I get so worried about the poor things. Well, she's got lots of cats here, hasn't she? She's got half a dozen cats, more than that. And now the power has died again. Oh, no, surely not. Your city? Well, I never owned it, dear. No, no, no. I just took very good care of it. I was the mayor. I am still the mayor, I believe. Lumi doesn't look impressed. Um, you don't know if you're still the mayor? Well, I forget things. It doesn't make much se much difference now. There's been uh, a much greater power at work for years. Oh, how irony courts us all. Power without power. The worst of it is my beloved bandstand isn't playing its lovely tune. Oh, no. Well, I won't bother too much more with this conversation because I know that if I go down here, um, we, can, uh, we, can, we can get that bandstand working. Now, you have to basically, as you probably could guess, put the, uh, the, the clockwork things back onto things to make the power work and we've got to get the power work in the right direction you can see that the power goes clockwise and anti-clockwise now a good way of telling this the good way a lot of these puzzles have good good hints in them is by using your little handy manual so i was looking a bit further on at the security camera puzzle because i was very struggling on that and we'll, we'll come to that in another video maybe but this is the uh to Lumi, my work in progress to be used in an emergency so this is granddad's book so we'll go on to the next page and we've got all these different clues as to the puzzles in the game and if you look through, it says number of gears times 10 plus 90. So each, you can't just get straight to the page you want. You've got to work out the puzzle. So let's go back and we can look at how many gears we've got. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's just double check. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's actually nine gears, right? So let's go back. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go back and go to the book. So. Number of gears times 10. So 9 times 10 is 90, plus 90 is 180. So if we go through to 180, I'll just scroll to 180 there. There we have look, a gear puzzle. And it tells you the answer, basically, which is really good. It's got a little bit of text, which does actually read properly. You can read it all if you like. It tells you basically what happens. So you put the anti-clockwise number 2 gear on, the clockwise number 4, and so on. And hopefully, if you do all that right, it should work. So it's anti-clockwise 2, clockwise 4, anti-clockwise 6. 2, 4, 6, anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise. Anti so, 2, 4, 6. Was it, was it anti-clockwise? Then was it clockwise? Then was it anti-clockwise? As you can see, it's getting faster. Then what does, the, uh, what does the book say then? Then we need the clockwise 5 and the anti-clockwise 4 and a clockwise 2. So we've only got one of them. And we've got a clockwise two, and we've got an anti-clockwise four. So you can see the power's going up on the left. If you take that cog off, look, the power drops. So still, we're doing right here. We're doing right. Um, let's see if we can work the last ones out without anyone helping us. That must be right. That's not right actually, because that one won't fit. It must go, must go there surely, and then that there, no, that there, and then that there. There we go. Phew, I've done it, I think. So, she's happy. That's been done. The bandstand is now powered up because that was the power for the bandstand, if you look at it. I don't think we can. No, we can't see anymore. But yeah, that's the power for the bandstand. So, let's go back upstairs. We're going to leave the mare to her little all taller cats. I've got this cogs meme. That's good. Oh, well done, dear. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, 
we need to get out of here. She's obviously forgotten who we are. Now I know that the next puzzle is right here. We need to get that bandstand, those steps working, because we need to get we need to get over here to this walkway. And we can't do that without the steps from the bandstand. That's what that lady was talking about, wasn't it? That the steps don't work. So you can see here there's a little diagram from above of where we are. We're here. So we are you, it says you, we're by the steps and we're up here behind this behind these buzzers, aren't we? So we've got to look at it the same way. So there's the stairs there, there's the stairs there. So we need to get the orange bit, which is there, in line with the stairs. So we just turn the big one, and one more. There's orange in line. Um, then we need to get the white and red and green, which is white, red and green, white, red, green there. We need to turn that one once, there we go. And then we need green, White, white, green, and orange. And the next one, so let's just turn. Oh, I've done that wrong. Hang on, sorry, it's the wrong one. White, green, and white, green, orange. This is this one. I think. I think that is right. Now, if I press the button. No, that's not right. Okay, so what have we done wrong? We've got orange at the top. We've got that one there. Um. Oh no, sorry. It's uh, white, green. I say green, green. Oh, green. It's around there. Sorry. Let's go back. Oh, go around again. Come on. Quick, go around. Come on. Go, go around. Go around. Go around. Go around. Go around. Go around. That one. Sorry. Yeah. Orange, green. That's the one. So I press the button now. No. Oh, come on, please. This must be working. Orange, yellow, green. Surely that's right. That's right. Surely. Surely. What's wrong? Orange, blue, blue, green, orange, green. That's correct. Red, green, white. Oh, that's the wrong one because that's orange there and that should be blue. So I need to rotate it around to the other side. Ah, you see? Full of traps, full of traps. They look very similar, but they're not quite the same. That one should now do it. There we go, look. Up pops the staircase, a rather fancy staircase. And we need to get up there. So she's now going to run all the way around. She probably could have jumped, but she didn't fancy it. She's going to hop onto the Hop onto the staircase. She's going to hop up onto the walkway. And we are done. And do you know what, guys? I'm going to leave it there. So we've made a bit of progress. You've seen a few puzzles. You've seen how Lumino City works. If you want to get your own copy of Lumino City, I will leave a link in the description to the Steam page. It's a brilliant little puzzle game. It can get quite complicated. A little bit further on, I've done a few more puzzles, and it does get a bit more complicated. But with common sense, you can work it out. And if you want me to do some more of this, let me know in the comments. If you watch through to the end, put um, Lumi, L-U-M-I, the name of the character, in the comments so you've, you've seen that I've watched through to the end. Uh, you Sorry, that I've seen that you've watched through to the end. And... Um, yeah, maybe if you want to see some more, let me know, and I'll uh, I'll do a more of a playthrough. For now, for guys, I'm a State Doctor, and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.